Hello, this is Grillenheimer. Thanks for joining me one last time. This may be my last time, um, unless the, either the tornado gets us uh, <laughs> tonight. Um, if not, I'll probably do one last one, I guess. But we've been churchless for many years, and we've visited many churches, and, and uh, my kids have liked a lot of different churches when we've liked some too and we've almost come to a decision and we actually joined a church a few months ago so and it's it was a hard decision and um, so we're, we're, we're kind of back in the middle of things even though we're not it's like we're we're members but we're still new so we're not fully maybe committed isn't the right term. I mean, we were, when, when you're a Christian, you're always a part of the church. You're always a part of the followers of Christ, um, no matter what denomination you, you are. And we, we actually uh, visited different denomination churches, believe it or not, too. Um, and, and we finally found a home, and, and we're, we've been going there. And I just feel kind of funny as a member of this new church still doing these videos. Um, so this, this may be, uh, uh, maybe one more after this that may not be exactly spiritual related, uh, but it might still be somewhat inspirational, but I won't, I won't use any verses of the Bible or anything. Um, again, my lighting is just poor. Oh, well, let's just keep going. I don't have a lot of time, and this is my, the second take on this, too. Um, as it is really bright back there. Um, but, and it's supposed to be Christmas nights, and there it goes. Yeah, yeah let's do it all. Bring them all in. Okay, get your piece of paper and put a line right straight through the middle. Do on your left side, left side, do new, old, and on the right side, do new, old, new. Got it? Okay, pretty easy. Um, oh, okay, duh, there's the camera. Um, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> Let's start off. And we're kind of using these verses to sort of explain that, you know, when you are saved. And I feel like I got saved at a very young age. Uh, when I went into college and I went through some really tough, interesting period, kind of a very dark period. Not quite Krampus dark, but dark. And my friends noticed and, and they said that I wasn't saved because I wasn't witnessed. And it didn't wasn't dunked or baptized or whatever, but I big it different. But I still did it anyway. And and uh, my family got together. We they were all very happy. And and uh, and college was good to me. It really was. I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Those it was wonderful. It just was simply a, re a really a good time. But uh, less of me. Yes. No sunglasses. No hat. Um, so, like I said, this, since we joined the church, I'm, I feel kind of funny doing this, or if the tornado just gets us tonight, who knows, and December is just around the corner, December is Thursday, um, first, uh, and Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, and let's just keep going, um, Ephesians 4, 22 through 24, that in reference to your former manner of life, you've laid aside the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lusts of deceit, and that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteous and holiness of the truth. Okay, there, there's a lot here, but I'm not, I'm not going to touch on it all. Uh, do that on your own time, but former manner of life, that is your old, that is your old, old self. So, for the first marker under old, put your put past, okay? Um, now, you be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 
the Bible most of the time, when they say mind, they mean your soul. It's almost a synonymous word. Uh, it, they go, it means both things. Um, and put on the new, the new self, which in the likeness of God, uh, we were made, created in his image. Whatever his image is, he must look a lot like us. Um, and has been created in righteous and holiness of the truth. And what do we consider the truth? The Word. The Word of God. Um, the King of Kings. The, the Son of Man. The Son of God. Christ Himself. He was the Word. He was in the beginning. It's so uncanny how the Bible is written by all these different authors and all these different scrolls that have been found and memorized and, and passed down. How it all comes together. How everything just really melds despite... The, the horrible stories of the Old Testament and some of the strange stories and miraculous stories of the New Testament and and how it all comes together and, and with the prophecy and, and Christ's birth and his resurrection, all of it is just, it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, bad analogy. Let's keep going. Um, 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Okay, there's a play on words here with the with the past tense and the and the future tense of this Second Corinthians five seventeen. The old things passed, <coughs> literally in the past, but that's not how it's written. Behold, new things have come. They're coming now, they're going to come in the future. So under new, write down present and future. That's your mark for new, okay? Um, the decisive change that salvation brings is what they kind of mean by a new creature or new, a new you at it, when you accept Christ into your heart. Um, and behold, new things have come. It shows that you are abiding with Christ and Him in you. It's your new life, your new life with Christ in your heart. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you look like. Um, really doesn't matter. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ and it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life which I now live, in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and delivered himself up for me. Um, yeah, yeah, I got an odd version. I got an NAV Bible, study Bible. I don't care what version you have. You need a study Bible. It just helps explain so much. helps explain a little bit of the times from whence the Bible was written in, in authorship and everything. If you want to debate it, fine, you can debate it. But it's it's just very educational when you have a study Bible, study Bible like that. Can you hear me? I know I'm half whispering. I'm trying not to. Um, but this is all about changing yourself, your old self, and changing something. There's more than meets the eye into something new when you ask Christ into your heart and that you believe in the resurrection that he did die for us he did get rid of our sin uh, he was the last sacrificial lamb for the world not just the Jews but for everybody to where we all can pray to God and be heard um, okay so old let's keep going number two your, your, your second list your old ways. Three, Christ is not in your soul. For your new column, change, change and transformation are a new creation. Three, Christ is abiding in you now. Four, sanctify or sanctified, uh, which basically means we're set apart. Um, the history behind the word sanctify may, is a mixture of the words saint and holy um, and there's somewhere in the Bible where they mentioned or maybe it was a, a 
fine children's thing where they talk about a plate and we're set aside like fine china, basically. Um, but we don't need to be in that way either. I mean, Christ, God has set us apart from the rest of the world, but at the same time, we need to go into the world and be a light for them, um, whether it's a relative, a neighbor, and yes, when you're talking about something as personal as your relationship with Christ, it's not easy to talk about. Some people get very emotional. I get very emotional when I'm trying to explain in my love for Christ because he's done so much for me. Uh, I'm doing it again. Uh, let's just keep going because it is a gift. Um, Christ's life, his teaching, his death, his resurrection, it's, it's a gift for, for everybody, for the whole world, for you, for me, for your parents, for, for everyone in, in our lives. And, and I'm trying to spread, spread that to, to my kids, and it, it's not been easy. It has not been easy. Um, it's, been, it's been a challenge. And then, pretty young, really. Um, and they love church. Uh, one of them, I mean, they both just memorize stuff more better than I ever did. Uh, there, there's two smart cookies, and I won't talk about them anymore. All right. Let, let's just keep going. Let's get. I don't, I don't want to say anything too good or anything too bad or be too judgmental or, or bring them into this because this is just me and you in Christ and about getting his word out. Um, Ephesians 2.8 For by grace you have been saved by faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, just like I said. Um, and one, knowledge of the gospel. Two, acknowledgement of the truth of the message. And three, personal reception. Rece yeah, reception. Acceptance of the Savior. Uh, acknowledging of the gospel. Read Romans 10 4. Uh, personal acceptance of the Savior. And that, that He is your Savior. That He is in your life. If you pray and accept Him in your, in, in your, in your heart then you might want to check out John 1, 1, 16. Um, and this is where things get a little complicated. Uh, actually, our pastor mentioned this. He explained it really well. And I failed to write it, any of it down, but it, he explained it better than I can. Um, but in... One of these, Paul was explaining about works. Works don't save you, yet works can always accompany accompany salvation itself. Um, but it's not doing good good deeds is not going to save you. You have to ask him into your heart. He will save you. Um, and, and you may do good things as a result of it. Um, you can do all according to biblical text you can do all the good stuff and do a lot of good works and help a lot of people out but if you don't have Christ in your heart you may not go to heaven according to the scripture um, I'm not going to say that's true or not because of a lot of near death experiences that I've seen and read a little bit I think we could be in new chapters of, of uh, the history of the world as we know it. Um, and I'm not saying the, you know, that the Bible is, is, is a tissue paper. No. We still need to learn. We still need to read it. Um, but I, don't, I, I can't say for sure, but there's something new going on. Um, I don't know, uh, but 
that there could be a new forgiveness, a level of forgiveness maybe, I'm not sure, um, but I, I don't want to get too far into that, I, I don't want to go beyond um, the teachings of the Bible too much. Uh, oh, oh, here it is, here it is. Um, homework again, James 2, verses 17 through 20. It's all about works and and being saved, and and it r r kind of explains works and and ha and uh, oh gosh, I didn't write I didn't write the verse down. I have the whole hardest time memorizing this stuff. Um, I apologize. <clears throat> I need a drink. But thank you so much for for, for following my my videos in this series, in which. You know, trying to bring gamers together, the games, the message, the word uh, out, which has not been easy. And yeah, good and bad. Maybe I, I could have done something better at Christmas nights. It's just around the corner, and and it's just an, uh, it's a pretty neat game on, on itself. It's very short. There's not much to uncover, but uh, it's just a very fun game to experience if you've never played it before it goes back to about 96 or so Christmas Nights was in a demo free in magazines all over the place once upon a time now it's you know uh, pretty expensive if, if you if you can find it uh, or you can just I, this might be on Xbox One now and PS4 I don't know I don't have either one of those um but thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, your perseverance through all my ridiculous videos. But if you want to finish up your page, use the old part of things. Look within yourself and write down things that you don't like about yourself. It and you know, don't you don't have to share it with anybody. On the on the new side, write down things you want to see in yourself be better. That if you ask Christ into your heart, what what, what you know, uh, to be able to tithe to a church, you need to have your finances in a row, um, which which helps. Uh, if you can't tithe fully, you still need to tithe something. Um, I mean. Churches are not a business; they're not supposed to, they're not profit, but they need the, all the help they can do too, uh, and and there's plenty of reasons for it. So, well, without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and if I come back, it may be for one last time. Have a good night.